Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna dive into my February 2020 favorites. I have got quite an extensive list of new makeup products. I've got a little bit of skincare, some shoes, perfume. So if you are interested in seeing my favorites for February, then let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, you guys, my first favorite of February was actually my Art of Eating Detox. Many of you lovelies signed up for my detox and we had the most supportive, amazing group this past season. So, so I just wanted to give a shout out to everyone who participated. I felt like it was one of the best seasons ever. We all got together, we got healthy together, and it was just super fun and inspiring. So, and I just wanted to do a quick little shout out to all the people who participated because honestly, it's you guys that make it special. And I just absolutely loved this past season. My next detox will be coming up in April and I'm so excited about it. So I will keep you posted on that, but I just have to say we had an amazing season season. Um, such a positive experience, such a positive and uplifting group and literally thank you guys. Okay. Okay. Let's dive into makeup and I have got two different foundations that I want to give a shout out this month. This is first Sisley. This is the Fito Hydra Tint, and this one is in shade one. You guys, I really am enjoying this. So this is a beautifying tinted moisturizer, and I will say the shade range is not fantastic, but it is gives your skin a beautiful little glow. And here is the shade one. I think the reason I'm liking it, you guys, is it works perfectly for my light to medium skin. Unfortunately, I feel like this might be a little bit too dark for any of you that are a little bit lighter than me, possibly. I know a few people who are fairer than me um, who did get one and it works. It's very sheer and the reason I like it, it just is so easy to wear. It's comfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel like you have anything on it. And this color just seems to really work for me. It kind of livens up my complexion and it does have some skincare benefits in it. So I will say, yes, I am glad that I purchased the $120. <laughs> um, beautifying tinted moisturizer. This has been in heavy rotation and I do love the little squeezy tube of this, the ease of it, and I will be taking this with me when I travel. So this one is actually a yes, I'm really enjoying that. Now with that, I had purchased the Stilo and this is the Lumiere. And you guys, this is in shade one and i am really enjoying this so this has been my kind of concealer that i've really been enjoying now it can also be used kind of like a little highlighter but the combination of these two kind of just gives me perfected skin so i've got that's the beautifying tint from sisley and then i've got this really great little kind of nice concealer to put right in the hollows of my eyes. Now I will say you guys, this is not going to be like a heavy duty, um, lots of coverage kind of concealer. So if you are looking for something like that, this isn't going to be the one for you, but for that area, you guys, it's just super moisturizing, um, underneath my eyes. I'm not finding it to crease or do anything like that. So this, uh, this little combination has been a winner this past month. Now, a little bit more of a cheaper alternative is going to be the Loon and Aster. This is their Real Glow Skin Tint. So you guys, this one again is a fantastic 
kind of tinted moisturizer. So you guys, one here, we've got the $120 one, and then we've got the $52 one. And I have to say, you guys, I love this one as well. I am doing a video on BB creams and tinted moisturizers, so I have been purchasing several different ones to try and this guy is a winner so this is going to have a little bit more of a serum kind of feel to the skin whereas i find like this is definitely more like a moisturizer and then this is going to have that kind of thin texture you guys it was so beautiful on the skin and again this one also has good skincare benefits so it's going to be giving you a little blur on your skin it has hyaluronic acid collagen vitamin e licorice and apple fruit extract to promote a more even and youthful skin tone so this is in shade 1.5 vanilla I would say this is probably a little hair light on me, but I kind of like the way it is brightening up my skin. And then I've just been using bronzer to kind of zhush it up a little bit. Um, they do have a nice shade range versus the Sisley only has three yet in the United States currently. And this one I believe has 11 different shades and it's just going to give you a really pretty nice glowy complexion it is not going to have huge amounts of coverage but more than you might expect from traditional tinted moisturizers so i have to say this one is amazing and then the combo that i used with this is the new hourglass this is their Vanish Airbrush Concealer. And you guys, this is a high coverage concealer. So it seems like there's just so many concealers being launched right now. I've got a couple more that I will be sharing coming up this week. Um, but I have this in the shade Silk. And this little guy here, you guys, is going to be perfect for using with any of these kind of tinted moisturizers to give you a little bit more coverage. So I found this guy to be really forgiving on more mature skin. You wanna use a light hand with this because it is full coverage. So this guy to me did not cause like, you know, anything underneath my eyes you guys i feel like there's not any miracle concealer out there um i try to do a little less is more underneath my eyes with concealers but i still need it for you know areas that i want to perfect so i found that this one was a great little combination even with this guy so any kind of lighter coverage and then this is going to give me that higher coverage kind of concealer super beautiful so definitely enjoying this concealer i am doing a top five concealer video coming up so just hang loose but i do enjoy that okay next let's dive into blushes and i've got a couple different ones this month you guys i am in love with the westman atelier and this one is in chouchette and it is a beautiful kind of peachy nude shade so number one super creamy easy to use and it is just such a gorgeous color so you guys any of those blushes are amazing i really love the westman atelier line but particularly their blushes are just gorgeous i don't think you can go wrong with any color i do want to purchase a few more myself so if you are looking for a cream sort of blush that's easy to travel in a variety of beautiful colors i would definitely reach out and get one of the Westman Atelier cream blushes because they're also just super easy to use as well as travel with. And then we are having a little bit of fun with MAC this month. So um, you guys, I haven't bought anything from MAC in many, many years. And now I have to be honest, after buying these MAC, these are the Glow Play blushes, I have just kind of been back intrigued with the brand overall. So these are just really fun to play with, you guys. They are gorgeous, and I have that in Cheeky Devil. 
and also cheer up i have one other pink color you guys that was for my daughter and this is cheer up and they're just super easy to and fun to play with so what i will tell you is they are kind of like a cream to powder this one is cheer up and the thing is these are going to stay on your skin all day long so the Westman Atelier does a good job, but sometimes with cream products, they can just kind of get eaten up by your skin. I love the look of cream products, but again, the longevity can, the longevity can sometimes be a little disappointing. These guys, and this one is in Cheeky Devil. It is just a really soft, beautiful pink. So we've got Cheeky Devil. Cheer Up is gonna be a little bit more like your peachy pink. And then we've got Shoe Shet, which is going to be more of a nude peach here, you guys. That is just sort of my variety of blushes. Can you tell I am ready for spring? <laughs> I am in the, the fun little spring blush mode. These though, you guys, they definitely deserve a shout out. They're fun to play with. They stay on all day. Um, and Mac, I think the packaging is cute and I've just really been enjoying those. So yes, yes. Now, speaking of Mac, I did want to give a shout out to the Mac and this is their paint pot. You guys, this is in ground work. I used this recently in a tutorial, Get Ready With Me, and you guys, I love ground work. I have had several of these in my collection for years, but this was sort of my go-to eye before getting on YouTube, you guys. Um, and I just think this color is amazing. Now I have heard that these are going bye-bye. So to me, it is just like your perfect taupe. This is like your one-stop shop eye look. And so what I heard is that the paint pots might be disappearing. I have been able to still purchase this. I know that they have some um, at certain locations, but I actually would tell you if you can still pick this up, I would because it's just so, it's just such a perfect little base color. You can also use this and then apply shadow on top of it. And you guys, those were just kind of an oldie, but a goodie, but I just love Okay, a little bit more eyeshadow. And I just wanted to give you guys a shout out because I was going to pass on this collection from Chanel. This is Ophi de Fleur in Ophi de L'Eau. And you guys, I love these. So you guys, at first I was like kind of scared. This just seemed like it was gonna be super bright. I just was not sure about these. And I have to say, um, these have become really quickly some of my favorite shadows this past month. The texture of these shadows, it super creamy and beautiful so you guys i was going to pass on this collection but you guys really gave me the nudge particularly julie <laughs> and julie thank you because you know what i love these there's just something so creamy and pretty about these shadows so you guys i just have really been enjoying these as a little bit more bright and fun and again these are really easy to wear so i think these should be launching soon in stores so you can go and play with them so definitely appreciate that thank you julie and all the others of you who told me to get those i really truly love those and have been wearing them also want to give a shout out about the Viseart. This is the Paris Edit. And again, you guys, I'm not a big palette person, but this is a little itty bitty one. And this is just a gorgeous little palette. Fantastic for travel, but also just kind of a fun way to play around with some colors for not a ton of money. I've heard that these shadows are amazing forever. I think of them as like for the pros. And so this was kind of a way for me to dip my toes into the water. And I really enjoy this, you guys. And again, it just is so cute, easy to travel, and wanna give a shout out again for this. This. And again, thank you, Janice. She was the one who said I needed to get it. <laughs> okay, 
we have got a new mascara that's come into rotation. So you, as many of you know, I really love the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara, but it is $72. And the reason I'm very loyal to it is because I had done uh, lash extensions and kind of, you know, ruined my lashes for a bit. And that mascara really kind of transformed my lashes, helped them grow, and I just really enjoy it. And I always pick it up during the Nordstrom Mascara Madness. Now, I have been playing around with the By Terry. This is their Growth Booster Mascara. And you guys, I have to say, this is giving my Chantakai a run for the money. I love the brush. And it is very similar to my the brush from Chantecai. So I've really been enjoying this. And it also has some lash growth boosters. And that's another reason why I like the Chantecai so much. But I've just really been enjoying this guy. And this guy rings in at $48 versus $72. Still an expensive mascara. But I really have been enjoying this. Does not sting my eyes. And I just have really found that it gives me a lot of the length a lot of the same things that i love about Chantecaille. it gives me volume it gives me length and it's helping my lashes grow while you know because i'm wearing mascara every single day pretty much for myself <laughs> um, and wearing it for most of the day so that's important to me and, and this has just been a winner Okay, I have two powders that I love and I know I owe you a powder video. So I, that will be coming up. I did pick up the Chantecaille. This is the Perfect Blur Powder. And this is limited edition one in the beautiful Hummingbird packaging. I was on the fence about buying this because I had bought the Holiday kind of illuminating finishing powder, which is gorgeous. This is going to be kind of more like your day-to-day -day basic powder. The reason I love this one, you guys, is because it is similar texture to the bronzers that I love. So their real bronzers have that kind of gel consistency. It's kind of a gel to powder and it melts right into your skin. This has a very similar texture and it's just, again, kind of like gives you a beautiful uh, finish to your skin. It is not too matte. It is fantastic for more mature skins. And I like to use it with their buff and blur brush. And I just kind of come around here. It's very translucent. Um, and I will just kind of use this all over. And it is just a beautiful kind of powder. So I find this to be kind of more like my, when I don't need illumination, if I am using a super kind of illuminating, glowy kind of foundation, and I really just kind of want to set the makeup, this is what I've been using. Um, I often use a lot of glowy powders, but sometimes if I'm using a glowy base as well as a glowy powder, it can be a little bit overkill. So. This one has come in handy. I also think I'm gonna be using this a lot during the summer months when it is a little bit warmer and I'm not gonna be wanting sort of like any kind of shimmer per se on my skin out in the real world. <laughs> now, the other one that I just picked up, you guys, and it is so good. This is the Kogan Doe. This is their Brightening Moisture Powder. I do love this. Now, this one is going to give you a little bit more of an illuminated look. It comes in the little compact and has the little swirl here. And someone was asking me if this had a lot of color to it. I really do not find that to be the case. So here it kind of is like a translucent. Um, if anything, I feel like it pulls off more of a um, whitish tone versus any kind of color. So very translucent on the skin. It is just silky um, and I just love this one. So I know there's been a little bit of a run on this because Michelle Wong loves this. So I, it has been sold out <laughs> everywhere. 
everywhere. Um, so, but I did want to mention that if you can find this, um, I love this again for travel, just super pretty. And these, both of these, I'm glad that I have them in my collection. And again, I will do a powder video for you guys. So we are almost to the end, you guys. I did want to talk about a little bit of skincare. So I have been testing some stuff and I did want to give an affordable kind of skincare that I've been enjoying. And this is from Good molecules so I have been testing out their serums okay so this is the ser super peptide serum and this this is going to target fine lines wrinkles and dullness and then I have the discoloration correcting serum and this is going to kind of help you fight pigmentation and give you a more even skin tone now you guys I have a lot of different uh, serums that I kind of rotate in and this has been in my rotation. I will do a whole video if you're interested. I've got a few other goodies from this line, but I do have to say that I love the texture of these serums. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I love Lux skincare and Beautylish had sent this over to me to try. And I do have to tell you, you guys, I had been curious about this brand. So I was like, bring it on. Um, Cause I'm not, I love different kind of serums and I'm not opposed to any that are a little bit cheaper. So this is formulated with a blend of peptides and copper tripeptides that's gonna help brighten and smooth for a healthy, youthful glow. So again, you guys, the texture is similar to some of my other more expensive kind of serums. <laughs> Um, and I have just found them to be kind of a nice way to rotate in. This is going to also help kind of stimulate collagen production. And I just have really been enjoying this. So been using this in rotation as well as the discoloration correcting serum. So this includes tranosemic acid and that is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation as well as acne scarring and such. Now, as I've mentioned before, you guys, with any of the kind of hyperpigmentation kind of serums and such, they are going to help kind of lighten those spots as well as slow down the process of any sun damage. But if you really want to get them uh, taken care of, I do say you'd have to go and get some sort of laser treatment such as, an, such as an IPL or something like that. So just keep that in mind. But this guy is $12 and again you guys I will have to say I just love the texture of these serums so this one's going to be a little bit thicker and it just is very hydrating it has niacinamide in it which is another really great kind of product for skin and I just have really been enjoying these guys so I've just been in playing around a little bit with some of the good molecule products but i did want to give a shout out to these particular two items this is the super peptide serum as well as the discoloration correcting serum really enjoying them the price you cannot beat um, and did want to just give you a couple affordable options of some pretty darn good skincare it has some really nice ingredients in them and again the texture and the feel of them are very similar to some of my more expensive serums now, speaking of an expensive serum, I did want to give you an update on the Victoria Beckham. This is their Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. And I do want to say I am enjoying this. Again, you guys, I have a lot of different serums and I kind of rotate them in. So this one is going to come out just like this. And it reminds me of my uh, Biologique Recherche uh, serums, uh, they come in a dropper like that. And I guess she is a fan of that brand. So again, you're going to see very similar texture with well, the reason I love serums is they just seem to penetrate right into the skin. And what I will say about this guy here is that 
Um, again, I've been kind of rotating it in and I'm finding that number one, it's not causing any irritation. I was not a fan of the Augustinus Botter cream. It did not work for my skin. I think it may have been some of the stronger retinol, but this serum I feel like is definitely giving me a little bit more of a firmness to my skin, a little bit of clarity, uh, but I'm gonna have to continue to play with this, you guys. I like to kind of use all of these products for a, a bit longer time, but so far, the main thing I'll tell you is it's not irritating my skin. I don't know if we feel like it's giving me any oomph oomph. <laughs> Um, but I've really been enjoying that as well. So those have been in my rotation this past month playing with those and I've really been enjoying them. So I would recommend good molecules. I would recommend the, uh, this guy as kind of a powerhouse of a serum. So you can either go a couple different ways if you wanted to go with a little cheaper alternative. They have a bunch of other serums from good molecules that I'm want to play around with. So definitely wanted to mention those skincare items to it. Okay, down to the very end, you guys, I want to mention a perfume and I had picked up the new Che Yulong. This is from the Giorgio Armani Privé line. You guys, I just absolutely love this. I had been wanting something that's gonna be kind of spring and uplifting, and this is exactly what it is. This is a very fresh fragrance. It is tea-based, I did a whole video on it. I will link it below, but I love this one, and especially, you guys, if you're looking for something that is going to give you a fresh, clean-based fragrance, but have a little bit more complexity um, from the base of the tea, I think you're gonna really love this. This is a new release from them. Uh, so easy to wear. This is a compliment getter as well because it's just a really nice, clean, fresh fragrance. My daughter loves this as well. Um, so winner here, love that guy. Okay, we have three lippies that I'm going to mention this month. And we're gonna start out. This is the, from Chantecaille. This is their limited edition Lip Sheiks. And this one is in Lupine. You guys, gorgeous little pink sheer lip color. It is screaming spring. You can wear this any time of the year. Just a super fun kind of pop of color. Then we have the from Chanel, and again, it's going to be another kind of formulation that is going to kind of be a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss, and that is from Chanel, and that is their Rouge Coco Flash. This is in Eau de Rose, and you guys love this color so much, and it is different than the Lupine. This one's gonna be leaning more of the rose, whereas the Lupine is definitely pink. Here is Eau de Rose, such a pretty color, you guys. I really love this, and again, this is sort of a Abbey color, I would say. I would wear this year round. <laughs> so pretty, and again, just a nice little gloss on the lips, super moisturizing. I cannot say enough about the lip cheeks as well as the Rouge Coco Flash as far as formula. Then I did pick up the most adorable, cute little Tom Ford. This is from their Boys and Girls Collection and this is in Abigail. This again is a little shout out to Donna. She had told me that this is a dupe for Nude Vani, which had been discontinued. That was a favorite for many people. And you guys, this color is fantastic. I love the itty bitty cuteness of it. Now, again, you guys, I have a ton of lipstick, so I do not mind having the smaller size. And this is Abigail, just a beautiful kind of nude be pink beige. I just love it. And then this is Abigail. Just love this color, you guys. It is fantastic. I mean, and the packaging is just so adorable and cute. <laughs> so those are going to be my favorite lippies of the month. 
I had mentioned this in a, another video, but you guys, these little Converse platform tennis shoes have been really well worn. Um, I still absolutely love them. It kind of keeps me young at heart. And you guys, especially this one with the little khaki, I just think they are so cute. They're kind of preppy. And then that little bit of lift from the platform for someone like myself, you guys, I am not tall. I'm 5'3", and I really had always just wanted to be 5'5". Five five. We always want to be something we're not. This gives me just a little bit of lift. They are super comfortable and they come in a bunch of fun colors they have a color that's in gray you guys that i'm thinking about getting but again this is just a really fun kind of easy little tennis shoe to wear and i cannot give enough shout out the little pink was just screaming spring to me just having a lot of fun wearing these little guys okay you guys that concludes my monthly favorites i have got some really fun videos coming up for you so please hang loose i'll be back with you soon and i hope you guys have a wonderful day